Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Six years ago, Braun Strowman picked me to be his tag team partner, and together we won the WWE tag team titles. This year, Mattel created my very own action figure, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at that figure. I am the Build-A-Figure for the WrestleMania XL Elite Collection. That means a piece of me is in each one of these packages. Now, to put me together, you must collect John Cena, The Rock, Pat McAfee, and Trish Stratus. Now, let's get our hands on these boxes and see what it takes to put me together. Now that we've unboxed these figures, before we look at my own figure, let's take a look at each of these figures individually, starting with John Cena. He has a rubber removable hat, as you can see, also has his logos on it. His wristbands also are made of these, this rubbery material. He has a soft goods shirt, his dog tag necklace as well as his You Can't See Me hands, which make a great addition to the figure. Moving on to the rock, he has a really nice head sculpt. His tattoos are painted on with great attention to detail. And his WWE title has a nice shine to it and a great level of detail put into it. Pat McAfee has his own soft goods shirt. He also has a, a gold chain necklace and his rip in his pants, instead of just being painted on, is actually a separate mold of its own. On Trish Stratus's figure, she has her logo painted on her boots as well as on her pants. And if you lift up her nicely molded hair, you can see that she has the logo for the Brunette Mafia on it, on her pack. <clears throat> now, let's look at my figure. Now, let's put this figure together. I'm going to start with the torso, the pants, here. That was nice and easy. Now, we'll put the arms on. Get these in the little sockets here. Next, we'll put on the shirt here. It's got a great level of uh, detail to it. Looks pretty much identical to the shirt I wore that day. You got the uh, date on the arm sleeve there. And uh, just put the Velcro on here. <laughs> of course, my shirt was didn't have Velcro in the back. Now, we have my head here. Just pop that on. A little bit of... We just took a break to run the head under some hot water so it fit more nicely on the ball joint. But during our break, we brought back a few pieces of memorabilia, starting off with the shirt. Now the actual shirt that I wore is in storage, but this is the same exact one that was sold during that weekend. As you can see, it has the date on the arm sleeve, as well as the WrestleMania 34 logo 
in front. We also have the replica WWE Tag Team title that Triple H gave to me after the match. Another thing we have is the prototype figure that Mattel gave me during the July San Diego Comic Con last year. One interesting thing about this figure actually is there's a handwritten number on the bottom of the foot, 139. If anybody at Mattel could tell me what that means, I'd be delighted. <laughs> so now, let's see how this figure looks inside the ring. I'd like to thank Mattel for making this amazing figure of me, and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope that you had just as much fun watching it. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe, as I plan to be making some more content soon. Thank you, and until next time, bye.